Okay, guys, glue up's been around, been done for a little bit now, about 24 hours. Um, I did stain the side. I didn't clean it up too much, so you can see where I got a little um, contact cement that kind of overspilled. Um, I did do a light sanding, but not much to clean that out. So, as you can see, it's just, but it's a mock up. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, but here's the actual piece. Um, and then with the sword on it, so that, that turned out perfect. Um, I'm kind of doing this one in segments. So, um, this is what it is. It looks just before lacing. I'm going through my lacing book and seeing the exact lacing I want to use. And, um, once I do that though, it'll have a little bit of an edge added to it because of the lace. Um, the thickness of it so all of that's coming out really good though I like the way it looked um, everything's turning out really awesome I think having the leather up by the the pummel and the hilt and everything um, or the rabbit fur sorry um, I think that's going to add an aspect to to the whole build it's really going to bring things out um it's definitely going to be a piece that sticks out as you walk around. Um, pretty much every time you walk around at a Ren's Fest or something like that, all you see is black or a brown one color. Or um, there, Not a lot of work went to them, but scabbards aren't exactly cheap. So um, I can understand why. So I'm hoping this really sticks out. And um, once I do lacing done with this and all that, that should be pretty much close to the whole thing for the mock-up. Um, I got to finalize what runes I'm going to put on there. Um, that's my cat off, right off screen, actually, uh, making all that noise. She's playing around for some reason on the bench. But um, I got to finalize what runes I'm going to use and stuff like that. I got to be really careful though on runic patterns and stuff. Um, a lot of hate groups are picking up on these, the Viking runes for some reason. And um, now they don't mean what they actually meant to the Vikings and stuff like that. They're used for hate groups. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do my name in runic just because a lot of the other runes, the protection rune and the compass rune and the odin runes um have been used by hate groups and you see them a lot with um the white supremacist and i'm also seeing it with antifa too um there's a guy with an antifa shield that had some viking runes on it but antifa is a hate group too so i think i'm just going to do my name in runic um and just do it that way. That way I know I'm safe. Um, and then I'm going to do the ampersand for the D&D &D ampersand. And then the horde symbol for the um, World of Warcraft. I think all that's going to be where I'm going on that. Um, I'm going to have to do some test patterns though. And that will still be in this mock-up series. Um, because I want to see what's going to make those runes stick out the best um as you can see with this i used an antiquing which highlights into the cuts and brings out the marking of the rune really good um i like that i think there's a way to make that a bolder statement though and make it really stick out so standing 20 25 feet away you can see that hey there's runes and stuff on that sheath um so that, that's what it's all going to come out. The stitching, um, definitely, you know, um, I'm definitely going to round the edge here on the top parts here. Um, definitely round and burnish this edge. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to incorporate that rabbit fur into the top. But I think that fur is going to really add a dimension that's going to be cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sew that onto a stiffener and then glue the stiffener onto the 
sheath or the scabbard up in that area and then lace it so that it's got the lacing going up the side um i'm not sure i'm gonna have to finalize that too but as i go through the runic cutting um and i'm gonna get all that decided up so this will be the part four for the gluing up and pretty much close to the finalized product all I have to do is add lace so um, watch the rest of the videos guys it this is going to be kind of like a montage of a couple of them um, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna put them all in but they'll all work together um, and make a little part of it so thanks guys for watching these videos have a good day okay guys the glue ups done the mock-up is done um, this is how it came out it looks actually pretty nice. That's the weaving that I did for the lacing. Um, it, I'm going to have more of a rounded end, I think. But um, I think this showcase is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a mock-up. Um, I tried to do different things, so that's why it kind of looks uneven in certain spots. But I guess around here is basically the way it's going to look. Um, I played with tightness and how loose and tight you make that lacing as you go through. Um, played with um, splicing in but I think for the most part that looks pretty good Just extend that out to 32 inch um, put that rabbit fur that I was thinking on there that's gonna work pretty good but there it is it's the final mock-up piece done and I think it looks awesome I think it's exactly what I've been looking for um, this is gonna work out just fine it goes on you know going to be like that I mean when you get it up to the hilt obviously you're going to see that but what you're going to see first is the rabbit fur I'm going to have on there um it's it's a great job I think that's it I mean I can't really say much more than that um my next video is going to do ideas and really fine hone into what I've decided to do completely but um this is the mock-up and it's done and i think it looks exactly the way i want it to look and it's good so i get to move on from here thanks again please like and subscribe my videos it helps me out a lot have a good day bye